Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about some new news that potentially is massive, and also we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Episode 10 of Supergirl Season 4, titled Suspicious Minds. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So we are on our mid-season break officially, as of the end of the Elseworlds crossover last week. They dropped the Supergirl trailer at the end of the Elseworlds crossover, but I just haven't got round to making a video. But we've got some major breaking news supposedly coming from Amy Jackson who plays Imra and we'll talk about that all in this video. So before we actually go into this, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away Supergirl on DVD so the winner can choose whatever season they want. So season one, two or three and I'm going to be doing that probably throughout the next few videos so all you need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to this channel subscribe to my movie podcast channel where I talked about Aquaman yesterday we've got that up already and also just leave a like and a comment on this specific video so thanks for doing that and hopefully one of you guys can win we're gonna be doing lots of giveaways as we head towards the mid-season premiere let's talk about the Amy Jackson stuff first so Amy Jackson who last season premiered and debuted as Imra Ardeen and as Saturn Girl and so we haven't talked about her in a while since the season 3 finale so she's not been around but just yesterday on the one show on BBC, it's on iPlayer, you can go check it out. So on an English talk show that no one really watches that much, but she was on there. Some people actually found it and they went through it and I watched the interview. And so Amy actually talks about her Bollywood career because if you didn't know, she's a big Bollywood actress right now. She plays a lot of these foreign roles in the Indian films that they currently produce a lot of these big blockbuster Bollywood films that aren't that good, but you know, have a following. So. She's pretty, you know, big out there and she's making it big. I highly respect her for that. I don't really watch any of those films. I tend to stick to lots of other films, but nevertheless, she talks about her career in Bollywood and now she actually, and also in the interview, she mentioned her move to Hollywood. So she is currently living in LA. She's doing lots of auditions and then, you know, flying back to Mumbai every now and again, but also to Canada. And so she talks about what's happening next and in this interview with the one show she says Supergirl is next and so this supposedly confirms due to the fact that this is a new interview and she's talking about Supergirl being next like her next thing that she's going to do is she returning it seems from this we can infer that she is going to be returning this season most likely along with the return of Win Shot played by Jeremy Jordan because we know Win is coming back later in the season because he hasn't appeared at all. We know he's a recurring character this season so in the back half once he's sort of done with his Broadway run for a while and then he probably will go back to Broadway again but he's going to be returning at least for multiple episodes so probably like four or five episodes if he's in that recurring status and so from what we know about Wynn returning you would hazard the guess that if Amy has in fact confirmed she's returning she's going to return from the future because she's in the future right now with mon with Wynn and everyone from the Legion of Superheroes she would most likely return with Wynn so I'm guessing if she does in fact return and Imra returns I don't think it's going to be with mon or you know any of the other Legion members I think it will be Wynn and also Imra but this does pave the way in order to try and get Chris Wood back sometime in the future, to try and get Monel back, because there is a massive following. I'm a massive fan. So many people that watch this channel love him, and you know, we all really want Monel. I know some people don't like him, but also the same thing goes for Imra. Some people really like her, some people don't like her. I really like her, so I'm excited for this. But it does pave the way for his return sometime in the future if. Imra can return if Amy can return because you know they're all in the same place in the future that being Wynn, Monel, and Imra so there will definitely be references to Monel like you would surely assume that because Wynn went back to the future with Imra and Monel and if they are to come back maybe Supergirl will question where's Monel why hasn't Monel come back when these two come back so it definitely paves the way I'm hoping for Chris to actually return next season I don't think he's going to return this season as far as 
we know because from interviews we know that his main storyline was only supposed to be two seasons long and I don't know if I totally believe that I did a massive rant you guys can go check that out that was when season three ended about how it didn't really make sense of how they ended it so I think there's definitely the opportunity for him to return next season and I hope Imra sticks around and I hope Wynn sticks around next season so it's just going to be cool to see them return and this interview is a bit confusing but from watching it over and over and over again that section she definitely says Supergirl is next as in she's going to do that and she's not foreign so she's not like mixing up her words she's actually from England she's from Liverpool it's not a mistranslation or anything like that so she is inferring that she's going to return so look forward to that hopefully that actually happens and now we're going to move on to the Supergirl trailer for episode 10 titled Suspicious Minds so when we return from our mid-season break we're going to be getting this episode so suspicious minds the title obviously hints at the idea of what's happening in this trailer and the fact that everyone wants to know supergirl's identity and and the effects it's going to cause if her identity would actually be out there in the public and so in the trailer john says Anyone who knows Supergirl's secret identity is at incredible risk. So I'm presuming from what I've seen in this trailer from the multiple shots of her flying in the sky and the shots of her talking to Haley, most likely someone is trying to expose who Supergirl is to try and expose her identity in order to gain power over her. And this links into how the mid-season finale ended with Agent Liberty calling out the fact that no one knows who Supergirl is. She's just this person this sort of godlike figure and now everyone knows who Agent Liberty is, who is Supergirl and so at the end of the mid-season finale Supergirl actually got fired from the DEO so she got let loose and it was due to them wanting to know who she actually is as a person living normally on earth so this is going to follow up in this episode and so I don't think they're going to reveal her identity but I do believe there is going to be people looking out to try and find her identity but I don't know exactly who it is but we're presuming it's something to do with the president maybe something to do with the media trying to find out who she is as a backlash from what Agent Liberty said as he was going to prison. So as we go on throughout the trailer we get to see a shot of Supergirl as she's talking to Haley, and she's looking very very sort of shocked and sort of stern and you know listening but also kind of angry at the same time it just sort of showcases melissa's great performance you know with her eyes like piercing through into Haley, and so she's back in the deo which is very very interesting so she is definitely back moving on to the next shot we get to see inside the deo basically all the agents including Haley and alex holding out their guns from some intruder we don't know who it is but from this you would hazard the guess it's someone very, very dangerous. I don't think it's Supergirl. I definitely don't think it's that. But I think it may be just the villain of the week or it may be the introduction of Red Daughter. I think we need to see her. We've been teased with her, but we haven't had that much at all. And they didn't really cover it in the mid-season finale, which was a shame. But there is some sort of intruder of sorts. That's what I'm trying to get at. And so we get a new shot of Supergirl as she's flying through the sky in National City. And so she's going to be like a solo act throughout these episodes and maybe it's she has to be forced to not be Supergirl in order for her friends and family to all be safe so no one actually looks into the idea of who Supergirl is, what's her identity. And so at the end of the trailer, Melissa actually says, who am I without Supergirl? being Kara and this is to Alex and this links into my whole idea of you know the title and everything that's been said in this trailer everything that we see the idea of the public and the people searching for her identity being suspicious trying to get into her and so I think in this episode as seen by this last scene I think she's going to start questioning Supergirl and how important she is so let me know are you really excited for episode 10 I think this is a very very cool little short trailer i don't think it gives away much but it sort of just teases the right amount for the next episode later in january but they will release an extended version of the trailer sometime in the next month or so so look out for that i'll definitely be doing videos on that also how excited are you for amy jackson to return did you like imra did you not like imra how excited are you or how unhappy are you let me know it in the comments down below so anyway guys 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut free.